Hi guys, it's Alston. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Windows within your Mac. In order to do that, you can use a built-in software within Mac itself called Bootcamp Assistant. You can open the launchpad within your Mac and search for Bootcamp and you will automatically see that uh, software within that. Here it will give you a brief introduction on what it will do. Just click on continue. And once you clicked on continue, there are two steps. One for selecting the Windows ISO file. You can download it from the website, internet itself within Microsoft site. I will give a link in the description. Once you've downloaded that, select that file and also adjust the space for your Windows uh, operating system as you wish. You can simply drag the, the dot and it will automatically adjust the space between Windows and uh, Mac OS. Once that is done, it will automatically start downloading the Windows support software. Basically, this is the software which will enable you to run Windows within your Mac. So first it will start downloading the Windows. It will take time depending on the internet uh, speed you have. Sometime it will be really fast. Sometime it will be slow depending on the uh, data it requires. So let's wait for it and you can see it automatically downloaded. Now it's saved the Windows support software. Now it is copying the Windows file for the installation purpose. And you can see the description also shows what it's actually doing it. I have speed up this process in order to make this video short. So in real time, it will be slower depending on your system. But I am just showing you the main steps on how to do it. So now you can see now it is currently on saving the process and it's finished installing. I have sped up this process. Now once that is done, it will automatically restart the Mac and start the installation from your Windows medium itself. You can see now we have gone into the Windows installation. Here first it's starting the setup. You just select your Windows uh, install region and automatically click on next. And let me wait for it to go into the next screen. And once that is done, now we have officially gone into the Windows installation. You can see it is getting the device ready for the Windows installation. Let's wait for a moment. And you can see still it's showing getting ready. This is also depending on your system, it will take time. And once this is loaded, we can continue on the Windows installation. Now it's asking to start with region. Click on the region you want. And keyboard layout also. If you are not sure, just you can leave it at the default US itself. If you want to add a secondary keyboard, you can do that. I'm going to skip it. If you want to connect to a net, you can do it now. But I'm not going to not going to do now, but I will do it at a later stage. So I just click on I don't have internet. If you want to sync your Microsoft account, you can connect, but I'm not going to do that now. And now I'm just going to give a username or the name for this particular Windows installation user. And I can type that name within this uh, input text itself. Let me wait for that and press next. Now I'm going to create a password for this account. If you don't want, you can just press next. Here you can set up your privacy settings. For example, I'm disabling some of the privacy settings which I don't want. Here you can enable all if you want to have that feature. Or if you are a privacy concerned person and you don't want any of those uh, settings, you can disable all these things and all the description for e what each of this does is also provided here. Once done, click on accept and it's asking whether you want quote or no. If you want, you can do, I'm not going to do it. So just click on not now. And you can see now the setup says the fights finalizing the windows installation. And once that is done, it will open up the windows and it will automatically open up this bootcamp installer window for you. Just click on next and read through the terms or just click on I accept and click on install now it will what it will do is now it will finalize the bootcamp installer for the windows operating system so you can see uh, the status showing what is is currently doing it right now so it, it this will help you to manage your windows uh, within your mac system itself here also i have sped up the process a bit in order to make this video short let me wait for it to finish it will uh, install the necessary drivers or softwares in order to run the windows smoothly. 
Once done, click on finish. It will ask for you to restart the system because it need to install the drivers and normally it will take a restart to make everything function properly. It might open a CMD prompt for you and start installing automatically. Don't worry about it. Once everything is finished, it will automatically close on itself. Once that is done, what I would recommend is go into start and go into Apple software update because it will install a pre default application which may not be containing the most recent update. If you see a error like this, the most common causes you have not connected to internet because you need internet to get the latest uh, updates or the driver updates or even the software updates. What I would recommend is connect to a Wi-Fi or if you have a hotspot mobile, just connect to that. And once connected, now you can go and download the software updates. So let me wait for it to connect first. Now internet is connected. Now I'm going to open the same uh, application again. This time you are going to see that that error message is no longer showing for you because it is checking for the new software and it will show you in case if I'm missing any updates, it will show for me. And let me wait for this. And you can see I have several updates which I'm missing. It will show you the current uh, status and also what is the update. I can click on accept, uh, tick all the update I want and just update it. This will ensure that your system runs smoothly. So I highly recommend you guys to update the Apple software update whenever it's possible as soon as you install the Windows. Let me wait for this to finish. I will speed up this process also bit in order to make this video shorter. And here also whenever it's updating any drivers or software, it will automatically open the command prompt and it will automatically close in itself. Once it's done, it will ask for you to restart the system. You can click on yes and it will start to restart the system and apply all the updates for you. And I'm going to wait for it to restart the system now. And now I have restarted the system. The last step which we'd, I would recommend is go and search for check for updates. Now we want to make sure that our windows is up to date because your ISO which you downloaded may not be accurate or not up to date. So I recommend you guys to again turn on the internet if you haven't done it. Once you turned on the internet, go into check for updates and make sure to click on check uh, for windows update so what it will do is depending on the iso which you have downloaded it might contain updates until now of a year older updates or something like that so when you click on check updates it will bring you all the latest updates from windows regarding your windows installation depending on your version number and it will start to install it for you this will also make sure to make your system run smoother let me wait for this to finish and i will pause it and i will show you one last thing when you click on the taskbar here it will show your bootcamp icon here you will see options to go back to mac anytime you want so in case if you want to go back click on it and you will go back I hope that video helps you and once again thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Cheers.